Nuns go green. Some nuns at a local convent are getting an honor from the EPA. Let's get to our business editor, Rob Maloney, who's live tonight with a look at how these sisters are working to save the earth, Rob. Well, Devin, you know, you and I might think we're doing okay by recycling our pop cans at 10 cents a pop or even using these energy-efficient light bulbs. But we don't hold a candle to the nuns down in Monroe. Monroe's Sister Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary run an assisted living community for 200 retired nuns. It's sprawling, serene, and green. So green, the Environmental Protection Agency calls it one of the nation's best green projects. We're most grateful for it. Sister Janet Ryan oversees the decade-old $40 million project. So we think of this campus as our latest educational institution where people can come and learn about eco-friendly systems and learn how we will have to all live into the future. Yes, the nuns do recycle, but that's a small beginning. You'll find timed motion-detecting light switches that turn off after you leave the room throughout the place. Windows, 800 1930s vintage, entirely restored with energy-efficient glass and reinstalled after a journey to and from England. Uh, lessening the footprint, our humanity's footprint on the earth, and we wanted to uh, uh, recycle rather than and reuse rather than replace. There are miles of geothermal pipes for heating and cooling on one of the nation's largest private energy efficient systems. And to top it all off, a gray water wetland recycling system, taking sink and shower water outside to a filtering wetland and returning water to the building for use in toilets. Now, they had they use these lights all over. They say they've saved about 50% of the water they normally use, and they're saving $180,000 a year. You want to know more? Go to clickondetroit.com. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Yeah.